Hey there, good morning. Look what came in the mail. Made it in the nick of time before my little t-shirt vendor company shut me down. But no fret, if you like the shirt, or the logo at the very least, and you want to get something, I'm going to have something coming soon. Stickers, as a matter of fact. Going to print my own damn stickers. So, definitely going to be having those coming by this upcoming week. Going to go get a printer today, a real nice printer. Going to go get me some nice sticker paper. And not only am I going to have Joe Does Stuff stickers, I'm also going to have you know, maybe cartoon stickers coming in the future. Maybe I'll draw some cartoons, make those stickers. Uh, you know, cartoons related to things that we're dealing with on Joe Does Stuff. So, I'm going to start this video off with that. There was only a couple of people who ordered this merch before it got shut down. And shout out to those folks because I know they probably got theirs as well. So, these are already classic throwbacks. So much to share with you guys, folks. It's Sunday morning. It's a little bit, ah, shit, I don't even know what time it is. Almost nine o'clock in the morning. We're going over to Flip Four and we're going to try to solve that washer water valve issue. One little stinking valve giving us so much problems. And folks, wait until you hear my solution to this problem. The first thought that may come to mind is, Joe, you always do things harder than they have to be. I don't say that, sar I don't mean to say that sarcastically. You, you probably will think that when I share with you what we're gonna do. So here's the deal. We've bought, what, two or three different valves and the thread patterns uh, don't match up and they always are just a millimeter. I mean, just a, a hair smaller than the original valve and for that, there's not a tight connection, and it's just not the right connection. So because of that, here's what we're getting ready to do. Here's my solution to this. This house is CPVC. We're going to do CPVC to PEX, sort of. I mean, CPVC to uh, shark bite. I think that's what we're... No, we're going to do CPVC to PEX and then to a shark bite fitting with a screw on it. That way we can use those two water valves that have the long screws on them that I was sharing with you guys, the, the first valve that we tried to use. What this is gonna entail, we're gonna have to cut the water off, we're gonna have to take the box off of the wall. We may even have to make a little small hole right below the box to be able to get the valve taken off to insert there the push to connect fitting for the CPVC to connect to the PEX, just a small little portion of that, shark bite or, or PEX ring, the screw fitting on there so that we can use the, uh, the longer fittings. I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense right this second. You probably, um, there's probably a lot of people who are not following what I'm saying here. Now, again, Joe, you make things harder than they have to be. Joe, why don't you just try to go find this fucking replacement part? I have tried. This is a, the, the brand is Watertight CP Industries who makes this. I don't see this at all. They don't even sell this damn thing anymore. I even look for the replacement parts and I, I see nothing. I've looked on a bunch of different websites. I don't see this particular box, this particular part. So for that, this is the simplest solution that I've come up with. This is gonna entail five minute mud. This is gonna entail a little bit of drywall repair. This is gonna entail a push to connect fitting, shark bite fitting, pecs, pecs rings, my pecs clamps. I mean, it's gonna be a decent little amount that goes into this. Taking this box off the wall, trying not to disturb the wall or, or mess up the wall at all. We're gonna need a knife for that. But once we get that off, it's gonna be a real simple fix, hopefully hopefully switching out this one piece this brings another good point that i want to share with you guys in relation to flip houses how one little thing something that you think wouldn't even be that big of a deal can turn into a big ass ordeal a big ass pain in the ass like what we got going on with this particular valve 
We're going to get this right. I can't, I, I can't even sleep thinking about this valve. Thinking about the fact that somebody's going to come look at this house. And they're going to see that. And they're going to be like, what, what, what the hell is that? But speaking of coming and looking at the house. What the hell is going on with that? I'm going to share that with you in a little bit. I'm at the storage unit right now. I got to unload and then load. Then go get Damon. Hit Lowe's. <laughs> wearing the shirt. And then get the show on the road. Bars. Let me take care of what I got to take care of here and get with you in a second. All right, 903 in the morning and just now leaving from the storage unit. That took a little bit of time to gather up what all I think I'm going to need for today and hopefully I got everything that I, I'm going to need. Uh, we got shit weather today. It's been nasty Friday night. Saturday it, it held off on us. And it started raining uh, Saturday night, and then today it just it sucks as well. It's supposed to be raining all day today. So, going to be dealing with that amongst everything else. But, like I was beginning to mention while pulling up to the storage unit, hey, what the hell's going on with flip number four? We've been on the market since Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning. And, folks, we have had a whopping, you're never going to believe how many showings we've had. We've had a whopping goose egg. Big fat zero on the showings. Haven't heard from my realtors at all. Going to be reaching out to them uh, sometime this morning. It is Mother's Day also. So, you know, real quick, let me mention that. Hey, a very special shout out to all the moms out there. I uh, hope you guys are able to enjoy today. So, weather, Mother's Day. Uh, you know, this weekend just being kind of an off weekend may play a big factor into the fact that we've had zero showings now we're on you know multiple listing sites and on those multiple listing sites we've got a number of saves up there we've got you know almost 30 saves on one site we've got like 20 something saves on another site so i know people are favoriting this house and you know at least at least there looks like there's some interest in this thing. Eventually, we are going to get some showings, and all it's going to take is a showing for somebody to fall in love with this thing. That's what I believe. However, I make no illusions about the fact that the price, you know, two fifteen, that is going to be a little, little hard to justify for a, for one particular reason. We don't really got no comps to justify the price. Of the three twos that have recently sold, we've got the smallest one in square footage. We've got a, you know, a thousand square foot house. The three twos that have sold are like, you know, 1,200, 1,400 square feet. And in terms of comps, we got a three two that sold for 205. That thing was like 1,400 square feet. Then we got a three two that sold for 207. And that thing was like 1,200 square feet. And then we've got our 1,000 square feet for 215. How are we gonna justify that price? You know, now how are we gonna justify that price? Well, here's the one thing that I do have going in my favor. On our, on our street, like literally right on our street, a couple of houses down as a matter of fact, there was a 4-2 that just sold last month for 235. And that house was only 1,200 square feet. So if you look at it from that perspective, a 4-2 that's only 200 square feet bigger than our house sold for 235, well then our price is very, very reasonable. I mean, it's not over the top too much, I don't think. I mean, in comparison to the other three twos, oops, excuse me. Hold on a second. I got to turn on old defrost. Like I said, we got that inclement weather today. In terms of the other three twos, yes. Our house doesn't make any sense price-wise. But in terms of that four two on our street, that house makes perfect sense. So there's that. I'm going to be reaching out to my realtors in a little while trying to find out, hey, any, any word at all? And obviously, you know, I'm not going to be shitty about the situation. I'm not even pressed about the situation like I get it not everything is gonna you know happen overnight the market's changing the interest rates are high er. and you know we got a totally different city this is a city that might not be as highly sought after as the city that we're used to or even you know better cities 
But let me say this also, even with that particular point, yo, people need houses everywhere, in every city. People are looking for the best that they can find. The best bang for the buck. And in this, you know, housing market, hopefully that helps us. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say right there, but everybody needs housing no matter where you are. Okay, so there, there was that. And there's something else that I want to mention. I don't want to make all this rambling on. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on the Joe Does Stuff website. If you haven't been checking that out, definitely do so. Uh, I'm a one-man band, so, you know, try to keep up with that. We've got a Discord now. We've got the Facebook page. There's messages. There's channel perks uh, now and memberships for the Joe Does Stuff here on YouTube. If you guys like to support the channel, trying to make that in enticing for you guys and also you know worth your time to support this channel this channel doesn't i, I don't know so if you want to support the channel channel perks are now available uh, i'm going to be doing stickers early access one-on-one -on -one phone calls or video chats with me is going to be one of the perks so definitely check that out uh, if you guys would like to support the channel more and what the heck else? Was there something else? I know there was something else. And I know, I think it was a big thing too. Damn, it's hot. Defrost done smoked me out. I get to wear my Lowe's, my, I get to wear my Joe shirt going into Lowe's. There's that. I got it. almost everything that I need. All I need right now is some five minute mud. I'm gonna pick up Damon. Oh, I guess I should share this. Uh, you guys might be interested in this. The cat adoption has not taken place. And in fact, it may not take place. And it's because it may not have to take place. Other arrangements have been made, uh, more suitable arrangements, at least for the time being, to keep the cats with the owners. Or, you know, with the owner. And that's a really good thing. Um, but if need be, I will definitely hold on to those cats uh, if need be oh I just remembered what it is okay here we are wrapping up flip number four waiting on somebody to knock on the door and folks flip number five could it have just been brought to my attention and shared with me I don't remember when it was I think it was Friday night I think I was out to dinner with Connor and his family celebrating his graduation a very special shout out to my homeboy Connor who just graduated yesterday uh, my daddy, as a matter of fact, would share this house with me. He sent me a link to this house. This would be the biggest house that we've ever done. Mini mansion big? Kind of. And needing as much as the mini mansion needed? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Absolutely. So let me share with you guys a little bit about this prospect of a house right here. I believe this thing is 3,600 square feet. It is massive. Damn thing looks like a, a commune to a certain degree. This thing looks like a, man, this thing looks big. And it is gutted down to the fucking floor joist. The house looks like it's sitting on four by fours. It's gonna need everything from the foundation up. From the crawl space to the floor joist to electrical, plumbing, HVAC. Drywall, finishing, finish, uh, finishes, fixtures. Man, this sucker's gonna need a ton. Joe, don't do it. I can imagine uh, the comments coming in about this. Way too much work, way too much money. Oh yeah, it is. There's no doubt about that. But it's definitely piqued my interest for a number of reasons. So first of all, I wanna share this. What happened to this house? This house was built in 1960. What happened? Uh, the damn thing looks like it sits on a marsh. It's probably in a level 10 flood zone or whatever the worst flood zone is. It looks like it's sitting on four by fours. That can't be good. <laughs> I'm curious to know what happened to it. What hurricane devastated this place? How bad did it get flooded? You know, that's the first thing that piques my interest with this house. How much would it take to get this house right is another big question. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but let's talk about the price of this thing. This house is listed right now for $139,000. We could probably even get this thing for less than that. If I really get interested in this thing, I'm going to go as low as I can go. I might even try to go 90 on this. 
and why. I'm not trying to lowball you, but nobody's gonna buy, nobody has bought this. Does this house need to be torn down completely? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't seen it outside of the pictures. I would, I, I would hope not, I don't think, it doesn't really look like it needs to. I mean, it looks like it's got good bones, kind of. They want 139,000 for this house. Let's just say we can get this thing for, oh, I don't know, uh, 100. Let's be super optimistic right here. 100,000 we can get this house for. How much does it need to get it right? It needs every bit of 100,000, if not 150, maybe even 200,000 to get this thing right. Joe, what are you doing? What are you even talking about? 200,000, you're gonna spend more on the renovation than you do on the house? Well, sometimes you definitely do that. A lot of times you definitely do that. Why would you do this? The interest rates are going high. Like we're about to hit a recession, hey. Risk it all for the biscuit all. I am tired. I am tired of messing with these little $20,000 profit lines. I, I, I truly am. And in order to win in this game, because that's what it is, it's a big game, you got to risk it all for the biscuit all. So here's what I'm saying. Let's say we get the house for 100,000, we got to put 150,000 into the house, or let's just say we put 200,000 into the house. Where we're going to come up with all this money, I have yet to figure out. I've got a couple of options for sure. We're into the house for 300,000, folks. There's houses right around this thing. Every house around this thing is 500 or better. We can be we could potentially see a 100 to $200,000 profit off of this house. Who's going to buy that? This thing's almost out in the middle of nowhere. Well, like I said, all the houses around it, 500 or better, they're all on the water. This house is on the water. Folks, this could be the winner, winner chicken dinner right here. But I don't want to get too far ahead of my, myself. I just wanted to share that little potential thought with you guys. Hopefully, I've been able to include a couple of pictures uh, while talking about this. But I'm getting ready to pick up Damon right now. We'll hit Lowe's, and we're going to go do a NASCAR pit stop style repair not meaning half ass but try to do this as quickly as we possibly can aka five minute mud we got to get this thing done we got to get this thing right i cannot be having a note sitting by the washer water valve talking about repair coming soon we got to do it now now is the time so let's go bust this thing out I was about to do something, but anyways, go in the lows. Leaving from Joe's. And man, this weather is terrible. Lowe's is actually not very busy today on this Sunday morning, and you, you would imagine it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be busy today. Mother's Day, if you're working on Mother's Day in a hurricane and you're not looking at a house, you're doing it all wrong. Oh yeah, that's perfect. O's, Joe's. I like that. Alright, let's go do this. Hold that down. Alright. So we were, we were just pulling down the street to the house and there's somebody looking at the fucking house right now. So I guess we're going back up to the store for a second. But uh, this house right here on the corner, you ain't got it. Yeah. So that house is a 4-2. It just sold, um, it just sold last month for 235. Somebody's looking at the house right now. Ain't nobody let me know nothing. I think somebody's looking at the house. There's a car in the fucking driveway, so we're gonna go back up to the store. <laughs> I hope they see my note. <laughs> Repair coming soon. Ah, damn, that makes me kind of like what the fuck. I'd be curious to know what's going on with that. Ain't nobody let me know anything, so I don't like that. All it takes is somebody to look at that house, they're gonna fall in love with it, man. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna hit my realtor up and be like, hey, do we got any scheduled showings? 
because I got to imagine it is somebody looking at the house. But what if it's some car that's just parked there? I didn't. I don't even think I saw any lights on in there. Mm -hmm. You didn't see any lights on, right? Yeah, I'm definitely about to hit my realtor up and be like, "Hey, what the hell's going on?" Um, I guess I'm gonna uh, pull in front of you, or no, nope, you're just gonna be all that. All right, up to the up to the dope spot real quick. Son of a gun, man! I was ready to make that repair. So I was telling Damon. I oh, got it, buddy. You going to the store? Yeah. Uh, bottle of water, please. I was telling Damon. I said, uh, I don't. I honestly didn't think we were going to have any showings today. It's it's Mother's Day for God's sakes. And then on top of that, I was thinking to myself, what if we're doing the repair and somebody shows up? Because I mean, it's going to be a little bit to this repair. It's going to be quick. But it's going to be a little bit to the repair. If they showed up right in the midst of it, that would be interesting. So I'm gonna reach out to my realtor. I'm gonna find out, hey, is somebody looking at the house or is there just a car parked in the driveway because it's dark enough to where the lights should be on? Unless the power got cut off. Oh man, I'm thinking all sorts of crazy stuff. Let me find out what's going on and try to get some information and get back with you. All right, we're on a stakeout right now. It's 10.06 in the morning and we're sitting at the end of our street. <laughs> um, well, we're across the street, but sitting at our street so anyways there's two vehicles over there now and i guess they are having a showing so there was one vehicle there initially somebody was in the house and i guess that must have been the agent and now there's another vehicle there so they must be having a showing so i reached out to my agent i said hey uh any showing scheduled for today haven't heard anything so i figure we're just ghost town over here and supposedly they had three showings yesterday so that's good he hasn't heard anything about what anybody's saying in relation to how those showings went. I feel bad now because I left that freaking note saying repair coming soon. The repair is in my hand. The repair is ready to take place right this second. The repair is in the back of this truck. The repair is Damon and I. We're ready to make this damn repair. And I just wonder, you know, would that play into the somebody saying, oh, you know, what? Repair coming soon. I don't want this house. I want this house repaired now. It should have been prepared now. They weren't prepared. Talking about a repair. Um, but Damon said, you know, it's a good idea we left the note. At least it shows that, hey, we acknowledge the fact that, yeah, there's that thing missing. The valve is missing. It looks like shit, but, you know, it's going to get fixed. And, uh, yeah, man, cool that we are actually having fucking showings on Mother's Day. Oh, man, that just... You know, Mom needs a house, too. Go make sure Mom's got a house. Um, so, not sure how long this is going to take. But the longer it takes the better it is, to be honest. If it, does, if it don't take long at all, uh, you know, it's on to the next one. Something that I didn't get a chance to share with you, I'll share it with you now. So I was looking around the area for what is for sale right now. We are a 3-2, 1,000 square feet for 215. Well, there's another 3-2 that's about 1,400 square feet. It's 315, $100,000 more, and it's right down the street. Now, don't get me wrong, it is pretty fucking close to waterfront. The only thing that separates it from being waterfront is a main road. But from your bay windows, you're looking out at the water. Um, and they want 315 for that house. They bought that house in February for like 175 or some shit like that. So th there's that house, and then there's also another 3-2. I think it's new construction. I haven't seen it. I went looking for it. And that one is 289 So, you know, hey, look, if you're looking for a 3-2 that's affordable, we've got the best bang for the buck. Completely renovated. Everything up to par minus that water valve. We got the best bang for the buck right here. We're on a quiet little dead-end street. You got a nice driveway. You got a decent yard. You got a... You got a shed, you got, I mean, it, it's a brand new home. It's a brand new home. Tile, backsplash, somebody made a comment said my backsplash looked like shit or the tile looked like shit. I think it looks all right. I don't think it looks like shit. I don't think it looks amazing, but I think it looks all right. Well, we're still looking at this thing. 
There's not a lot of inventory. Inventory is low right now. Interest rates, they're 5.185% according to Zillow. Get it now, because they only going up. If you got if you got your interest rate locked in, that interest rate is only let me Damon, please. Let me share this with you guys. So interest rates have just gone up. They went up last month and then they're going up again right this second. So if you are trying to buy a house right now, your interest rate is locked in for what, like 30 days, 60 days, something like that. Maybe it's 90 days. I don't even think it's that long. I think it's locked in for 30 days. So let's say hypothetically you got an interest rate that is lower than 5.185%. You only got you only have 30 days or however long you got from the time that you locked in that interest rate to get under contract and close on a house. And if you don't do it in that time, that interest rate's not long no longer locked in and you know damn well they try to make sure they get that interest rate raised up the banks do, the mortgage companies do. So if you're a potential home buyer right now, yo, you, you need a house. And in this area, because everybody needs a house in every area, this is the best house for the price. That's all I wanted to share. That's my thought on it, at least. So, we'll see. I think we're gonna ride up the lows real quick to, I mean, we got nothing to do and I hate doing this stakeout. We could be looking like we're waiting on the dope man. What if they saw us? We were right down the street facing them. But it does kind of feel like a little stakeout. Waiting to see how long it takes. God, I wish I could be a fly on the wall right now to hear what they're talking about. I bet you they're saying it's amazing. I didn't realize we had three three showings yesterday. It's Mother's Day. And we got a showing taking place right now. Now the crazy thing is, is nobody's got to reach out to my realtor. I'll get back with you in a minute. I got to take this call. Probably a good 10, 15 minutes later. And we see the brake lights coming on on that vehicle. So they spent a decent little amount of time up in there. You know, they could have spent two minutes in there and been like, oh yeah, we're good. And then they're spending a decent little amount of time in the driveway, so they probably are talking about it in the rain. Damn, that building's for rent right there. We can go get that. I don't got no idea what's down this way. We're just trying to kill a couple of minutes while we wait. They could have been in there taking a shit. That could have been what was taking so long. So no idea really how this went. But I do want to say this, and I, I'm not trying to bitch. I'm not going to bitch about this, but I do have a point to make here. I wish my realtor would have told me that we had some showings yesterday. Like, keep me in the loop here. I feel... I feel like I don't know. And I don't like that. But, I'm not going to gripe about it too much because we had some showings. So, that's good. Do we have any more showings? Um, you know, what was the feedback? There's a house for sale. That's a beautiful fucking house, too. What was the feedback from those showings? I asked, and, you know, he doesn't know. He said he's going to reach out today, and I get it, you know. I'm not trying to bitch about it because, one, it's fucking Mother's Day. So if there was a day that I could understand, it's today. But still, you know, I'm making a... You're making a nice commission and you got a job to do and I expect you to do your job. I, I really would like for you to do your job. So please let me know what the hell's going on so I don't have to keep uh, being in the dark because I was on the impression we had nothing going on yesterday and I was okay with that. Thinking, okay, well the price or you know the location or the interest rates or the market cooling. But hell nah. Yo, we ch we came like less than half a mile down the street and this area is fucking beautiful. Like I didn't even know this was here. I wouldn't mind trying to find the next house right here. Forget where we're at. I mean, even though where we're at ain't bad. But this area right here, that's a nice little house. That's a nice little house. That's a good potential. Drive for dollars a little bit. Need to put some signs out here. Look at that thing, that thing is beautiful. And that's for sale. 
man this is this is the area right here holy shit all right so anyways hopefully they're gone by now and hopefully they love the house hopefully we'll get some feedback today maybe we get an offer we're getting ready to go up in here and bust out this repair this repair is probably going to take us about an hour could take a little bit longer but I mean, doing the repair is not going to be the issue. It's going to be, uh, what do we got to do with the mud? Like trying to match up texture and then painting uh, really is going to be what makes the repair just a little bit longer. So anyways, we're going to bust this thing out and I don't know, you know, could we have another showing in the midst of us doing this? We could. Well, all right. Hopefully they're gone and hopefully we can get to work. All right, here we are, getting ready to test water. Lines are under pressure. We're beautiful. We are beautiful. No leaks at all. Nothing. I'd say that's perfect. We're perfect. Perfect. All right, let's close up the wall. No leaks. I mean, nothing. So we use the push to connect fitting right here. We use the push to connect to male fitting right here, thread taped, and a little loose in the box. I can tighten this one up for sure. And I'm gonna put something underneath of that one to try to tighten that one up also. So interesting when we opened up this wall. The cold water line had a small little bit of water buildup right here. I mean, nothing major, but it had a small little uh, right here. This was failing. So thank God we made this repair right here. Um, good deal. It's like I can almost, oh, I see light. What do you think, man? Shit, it ain't leaking. Ain't leaking at all. Kosher. Yeah, we're good. All right. Where's that, uh, did you throw away the little things that I gave you from underneath the other one. This right here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this some kind of a way. I'm gonna make this guy work. Probably gonna cut it and get it up under there. Or what can I put under there to add some security? I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna figure out a way to shore up this guy here. Even though it's tight, it ain't going nowhere. And then plus, once the cover of the box is on, that's gonna add even more stability to this situation. So if there is anything that I can get, to tighten it up, I'll do so. And if not, well, she ain't uh, she ain't going nowhere. And how often are you gonna be messing with that? All right, good deal. Let's button this up and made that repair. And it only took cutting the wall open to do so. We got five minute mud. We got our same pieces of wall right there. We'll put them bitches right back in. Let's get it done and get gone. All right, bang. I don't even know. Uh, there's our repair. We used the same piece of sheetrock. We put a lot of mesh tape on this and now I got five minute mud and I'm trying to hurry up. I ain't never messed with the five before, but I know that should be setting up with the quickness. So get a little mud pan mix up and here we go. So let's go ahead and get down right there. Yeah. Okay, good deal. Damon's staying on top of cleaning up and helping me in a major way, as usual. Okay, don't let it get drippy on us now. I wonder what people had to say about that note we left that said repair on the way. Incoming repair. Please don't fret. We'll get her straight. Okay, probably mixed up just a little bit too much, but I guess you'd always rather have more than not enough. Okay. Okay. 
thinking this is probably going to need one more hit of mud after this sets up. This would be the ideal time for a showing to show up as well. Talk expertise. Guess my worst fear is what if it's really not five minute mud? What if that's just like six minute abs. So Damon, I didn't bring any sponges. I'm gonna use paintbrush. the paintbrush trick right. to put the swirl pattern in, but I'm not ready for that yet. We gotta let this set up. I mean, I gotta go get the brush and show you anyway. About to just say this guy is as muddy as she's gonna get. For that first coat. I got a lot of paper showing, so or tape, you know, that's easy to be brought. The, the, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but that's our first mud right there. So we'll let that set up. Hopefully, it only takes five minutes. All right. Time is 11 11 in the morning. Oh man, my Joe's shirt. It got hit up. I had brought another shirt that I was going to wear when I started doing the work and I forgot to change, but you know what? Hey, this is the company logo right here. This is the company work shirt, and we're, we're, we're working in it. All right, so first shot of mud on there, and gonna let that set up. Like I said, hopefully it's only gonna take five minutes. I'm gonna clean up around here, and we'll be ready to uh, finish this up. Hopefully it only takes five minutes to set up. I've probably said that 10 times, but if it takes longer, holy moly, we could be in for a world of hurt. We could be in for a world of hurt. I'll clean up and share more in a little while. All right, bang. Repair has been made uh, and I've been feathering it out a little bit. I don't know what's up with that little spot right there. Don't know what that is, but the repair has been made. It's been five minute mudded. It's been like 20 minutes and I've been trying to get the swirl in there. I've been trying to get that swirl in there to match it up with the old swirl. I know it looks like shit right now, but I'm hopeful that when we put some paint on it, it's going to blend in real good, but that's what we got. I don't want to do anything else to it because I don't think I need to. And it's almost dry and it does not dry in five minutes. <laughs> said 13 minutes I saw 24 hours but we're gonna wait probably another five minutes we're gonna throw some paint on that money and see what she looks like good news is we got no leak it may not be perfect but it's better than that shit that's for damn sure damn sure better than that shit I wonder if anybody's had anything to say about that what in the fuck is that okay okay they added some artwork in the house for us yeah maybe all right, get with you after we put a coat of paint on it and get ready to wrap it up over here. All right, it's probably 12 o'clock. Took a little longer than expected and I was just waiting on drying time. 12.04, damn, I'm starving. Thank God I can go eat now. All right, uh, bing. 
she's done repair is done yep she visible uh, she visible but tell you what yeah that's the best it's gonna get that's for damn sure I'm, yeah pressure sanded around there a little bit more uh, yeah I gotta be honest I'm not very uh, satisfied with that drywall repair it should be a lot better than that um, to say that that was a rush job yeah fuck yeah it was and uh, didn't really have time to take my time I don't want to be over here right now in case anybody does show up to come look at the house but yeah it is what it is you know what's crazy is why am i even tripping on that i hate to make an excuse but i'm getting ready to make a major excuse that's going to be behind a fucking washer machine so no one will ever like if you think about like back here it's not even painted all the way and back behind there you know look it's behind the fucking appliance so if there is a silver lining and if I am oh my god why is it that this thing is still closing funny what the hell is going on I actually can see it. It's almost like it's not in there good enough or something. But it is in there good enough. Oh, man. Damn it, man. These doors have been giving me issues. So many issues. Man, and we never repainted that hardware after bending those doors. Shit! Oh well, what are you gonna do? Damn it, man. I might have him do that real quick. Fuck, he's already locked it up. I gotta have him do it. You gotta have him paint it. Hey, I gotta get you to do something else. Oh shit, is that somebody coming to look at this house? Um, go get me, uh, oh go, we gotta go open the thing up anyways to get him. We're gonna paint the. All right, later than expected as usual. 12.20 in the morning, or 12.20 lunchtime. Joe got no lunch. But no biggie. We're done. So we made the repair. Uh, and then we touched up the hardware that got dinged up when we were trying to bend hinges. And we got one side of the laundry door. Even after shaving that door down, bending those hinges back, just this one door has been a, a mug. It's been a real pain in the ass. And it's funny because if you open the door from the other side, it, it opens the shut's fine. If you open it from the right hand side, it doesn't it, it hits a little bit it's not that big of a deal it, it just rubs a little bit it's gonna pop on a home inspection yeah we'll take care of it then but we did address the um, the hinges that got dinged up when we were bending hinges I forgot I totally forgot about that so people may have viewed the house and seen that and been like ah oh, you know no, that's ugly but whatever I hate to say what I'm getting ready to say but I'm gonna say it anyways you know the wall repair that we did behind the um, washer machine. Yeah, that's not the greatest. But again, it's going to be hidden behind the, the washer machine. Uh, the door, it's bumping a little bit. The fence, it's, you know, the fence is ragged. The shed, it's ragged. I, you know, I'm at the point where I'm like, hey, look, I've addressed pretty much every issue that needs to get addressed in the house. We have made this house much better than it was and we have made this house worth what it's going to sell for and the, that's the point of this what's this house going to sell for 215 is definitely pushing the envelope right when there's two other similar houses that have sold for 205 and 209 
I'm looking very likely to fall somewhere in there and if I do hit the 215 it's only because the house right down the street has come into play I did the best that I could on the tile I did the best that I could on the backsplash and it's not that I didn't give a fuck doing this work I really did the best that I could with it but at this point man hey we we've done what we're gonna do on this house and if there are some little quirks here and there oh that repair is not you know uh, not the greatest or I mean it, it's well enough we definitely provided a really nice house for somebody and that's it uh, I hate to say it like that but that's it like let's say for example we end up in this house where we're talking about this house could sell for five hundred some thousand dollars uh, the one potential prospect house on a house like that hey it's got to be it's got to be it's got to be the best of the best that's my thinking and I, I guarantee I know that my thinking is flawed even with this house you should be doing a one with everything I try to do a one with everything but not every time are you gonna be able to do a one and there are gonna be reasons for that like today don't feel like really being over there got to make this repair this stinking ass valve has given us all this problems got to cut open this wall to make this repair and we don't know if anybody's coming to view the house yada yada it's Mother's Day you know uh, I, I may not be making a whole hell of a lot of sense with my rationale here. I'll wrap it up saying this. I am 1000% satisfied and proud of the work that Damon and I did in this house. When it mattered and where it mattered, we gave it our everything. The roof, the bathrooms, the kitchen, uh, you know, the flooring, the, the paint. But there's certain things that maybe they didn't get 1000% and there's reasons for that I guess is the best way to say it and with that being said it is what it is um, there's still things that we need to do we're gonna have to do before inspection uh, but these are things that you know we'll address there's some stuff underneath the house that we got to do we got to repair uh, something that you know it's not that big of I mean I don't know it's a crazy situation but it's nothing major and it's it's gonna get uh, squared away it's a pier under the house that they chopped out part of the block for to let a vent be able to vent some uh, it's a crazy situation anyways that's it hey happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there shout out to Damon for rocking with me on Mother's Day shout out to all of you for rocking with us on these two videos for one stupid water valve the water valve is fixed the water valve does not leak the water valve was leaking prior to us fixing it so when it comes to what needed it the most and what needed to be perfect that water valve replacement that is perfect I'm still making excuses for that subpar patch job but that's it you guys enjoy your day I look forward to talking with you again tomorrow. We're getting back on landscape tomorrow. i got a big week with landscape starting Monday. And I look forward to sharing more with you guys tomorrow and hearing what all of you have to say. Take care.